Welcome to another video on UN documentation research from the DAG Hamishko Library. In this video, we'll be covering the Index to Proceedings, or ITP for short. At the library, we often receive research questions about UN documents. In many cases, we can direct those questions to the digital library if a document symbol is referenced. But what happens when there's no document symbol cited? Or the researcher provides other relevant details surrounding a document that isn't showing up in the digital library. That's when the ITP comes into play. The Index to Proceedings is an annual bibliographic guide to the proceedings and documentation of the major organs. These include the General Assembly, Security Council, Trusteeship Council, and Economic and Social Council. The structure of the ITP consists of an introduction, common UN abbreviations, sessional information, this is where you'll find the elected officers for the committees, a checklist of meetings, the sessions agenda, the subject index, the index to speeches, a list of resolutions for the session, as well as a list of documents. For the General Assembly and Security Council, you'll also get the voting chart for adopted resolutions, which can be a quick guide to see how member states voted throughout the session. But for this video, we're focusing mainly on the checklist of meetings, the subject index, and the index to speeches. So let's jump right in. For our first example, let's say you're looking for a meeting record in 1983 from the first committee of the GA that took place on November 9th. It can be difficult to know what the meeting records number was on that day. However, a quick scan of the 37th session's checklist of meetings, we can see that the 29th meeting falls on the date in question. At the top, we can also get the base structure of the document symbol. And so the document we're looking for is A slash C1 slash 37 slash PV 29. What about finding draft resolutions in the Security Council from 2001 related to peacekeeping? Well, first, we can go search the 2001 Security Council ITP, then check the agenda for the proper subject's title. Under United Nations Peacekeeping Operations, we see a note that says C peacekeeping operations. So now we'll go through the subject index to find that particular section. An easy way to navigate this would be to hit Ctrl and F on your keyboard, which will bring up the find feature in your browser and then proceed to type peacekeeping operations. Here we'll see all the documents that fall under this subject. And if we scroll down, we should find draft resolution S slash 2001 slash 573 concerning measures for cooperation with troop contributing countries. We can apply a similar strategy when searching for speakers in the ITP. Say we're trying to find when William Wallace spoke in the Trusteeship Council in 1994. We can start by using the find feature again and typing William, which in this case should take you directly to the index to speeches speakers section. And we should see he spoke in the 1705th meeting of the Trusteeship Council, otherwise document symbol T slash PV1705. If you scroll up a little further, you should also see the index to speeches organized by corporate names or countries, so we can find William Wallace under the United States. This will have the other speakers who spoke representing this member state. And finally, if we look further down, you'll find it organized by subjects. Mr. Wallace spoke under the Trust Territories Political Status Agenda item. These two sections can be helpful if your research entails looking for speakers under a subject or country. They can answer a variety of questions pertaining to documents if you only have one of those three pieces of information. Of course, I should note these examples are for specific years and situations, but you may find that you're looking for a set of documents over the course of several years or even sessions. However, with this basic understanding, it should give you the necessary research tools to find what you need. That'll do it for this video, but be sure to check our other videos on UN documentation research. Feel free to also contact us with any questions about UN documentation. Our contact information can be found in the description below. And until next time, best of luck with your research.